Art and science meet in the realm of the imagination. Both are highly creative endeavours. Both require originality. Uh, both require good lateral thinking. For example, if you look at some of the microscopic sections, or if you look at some of the electron micrographs that are produced in the daily realm of science, they are supremely beautiful. They are really works of art in themselves. The people who really do path-breaking research have got to be creative and imaginative, really lateral thinking. My own boss, Sir McFarlane Burnett, I think the word lateral thinking was invented for him. He just knew how to put disparate things together and create a whole new theoretical structure. Each year, the scientists drew out of themselves a new kind of creativity. You know, they suddenly realised what I've just realised, namely that an experiment can be artistic. And I think that question of creativity, creative intelligence, uh, looking at things in a new way, that's very much science, but it's also very much modern art.